Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Emily and I like to make content about all things sewing, slow fashion, and sustainability. So summer is fast approaching and I was recently doing some planning for my summer projects and while I was looking around for inspiration, I came across a couple of free sewing patterns. So then I started doing a bit more sleuthing and digging and I was actually able to find quite a few sewing patterns that are free that I hadn't heard of before. And I am definitely someone who is a fan of free patterns, although I will say that sometimes you get what you pay for with free patterns, so there can be kind of issues with the quality and fit. Um, but for the most part, I've used a lot of free patterns in the past and had quite a lot of success with them. And I also think free patterns are great if you're a beginner sewist because they're a very low risk, low investment way to get into sewing, see if you like it, um, and yeah, because sewing patterns can get quite expensive. So in this video I wanted to share a little roundup of some of the free patterns that I came across that I think would be great for summer. Before we jump into it, I do want to take a moment to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. And let me just start off by saying that I am someone who really believes in therapy and thinks it's so important, and I really think that there's nothing wrong or shameful about wanting or needing therapy. To me, going to therapy is kind of like going to the dentist or going for physio or for massage, um, but while those things are focused on taking care of your physical health, Therapy is focused on taking care of your mental health, which I think is equally, if not more, important. Personally, I am someone who struggles with a lot of anxiety, um, both in general, but specifically social anxiety. And it's not something that I've spoken a lot about on my channel or across my social medias. Um, but at the same time, it's not really something that I'm ashamed of or trying to hide. It just hasn't really come up. And I think the more open we can be about these kinds of things, the better. So I'll be the first to admit that going to therapy has really helped me and given me a lot of coping strategies and tools that I can use when I'm feeling super stressed out or really anxious and overwhelmed. And that's where BetterHelp comes in. So BetterHelp offers access to licensed therapists who are trained to listen to you and help you. Through their platform, you can talk to your therapist in a private online environment from the comfort of your own home. They have a network of over 20,000 therapists, which gives you access to a broad range of expertise and help that may not be available in your local area. To get started, you just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you'll be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. And from that point on, you can schedule secure video and phone sessions. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages with your therapist and everything you share is completely confidential. And you can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. If you'd like to join over 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist, you can get 10% off your first month when you use my link, betterhelp.com lightly. And I will link this in the description box below if you want to have a look. And the last thing I'll say is that if you are dealing with any feelings like stress or anxiety or low mood, definitely reach out and talk to someone, whether that's a friend or a family member or a partner or a licensed therapist through a service like BetterHelp um, because it really can help. Okay, so now let's get into the free summer patterns. So I wanted to start off by talking about my top three places to find free sewing patterns, which are fabricstore.com, Peppermint Magazine, and Mood Society. And if you're already a sewist, then you're probably familiar with these already. And of the three of those, my favorite is probably the patterns on fabricstore.com. Um, they just have a lot of free patterns and they kind of hold a special place in my heart because they're the patterns that I used when I was first starting to learn to sew my own clothes a few years ago. Um, so yeah, they're just a little bit sentimental to me maybe, um, but I also just really like the styles of all of their clothes. Fabricstore.com is a linen provider mainly, so um, the patterns that they've created are really meant for linen fabrics, which is my favorite fabric to sew with. So a couple of my favorites from Fabric Store are the Phoebe Linen Tank, and that's actually the top that I'm wearing right now, if you can see it. Um, so it's just a very simple like linen shell tank, it's sleeveless with a crew collar, it just like pulls on over your head, there's no fancy ties or button closures or anything like that. Um, and yeah, this is actually one of the first projects that I ever made a few years ago when I was starting to sew my own clothes, so I um, highly recommend this one for beginners. I have, I think, four of these in different colors and linen, and I just kind of wear them on rotation throughout summer because they're just the easiest thing to kind of throw on and keep cool. 
Another free pattern that I've made from Fabric Store a few times is the Augustina Boxy Top. And I think this one's great for summer as well. It's just a very like simple, like it says, boxy t-shirt. Um, again, no like super fancy closures or anything. Um, and it has a short sleeve with kind of an armband, which is very similar to the Elizabeth Suzanne Georgia tee, um, if you like that style. And yeah, I've made, I think, two of those. So I'll insert a photo or a little video of me wearing one of them here so you can see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really great, just kind of basic casual wardrobe staple for summer and also for any other season, um, it layers really well under sweaters and jackets and stuff like that. And then the last pattern that I really like from Fabric Store is the Magda Pants pattern. Um, and this was the first pants pattern that I ever made. <laughs> and so again, it's kind of like sentimental to me. The only problem that I've had with this pattern that I will warn people about is that it's quite oversized. So um, at least at the time when I made it, and it's been a couple of years since I've made it. so. Um, maybe they fixed the sizing, maybe I printed it wrong at the time because it was literally like my first pants project ever, so it could have been user error. But I ended up having to size down to I think the smallest size on the pattern and it was still big on me, um, which tells me that I probably made a mistake. Um, so just watch that if you are going to try and make those ones. Just maybe make a muslin first, just test the fit, um, like literally measure the pieces and kind of see uh, where they're going to end up. But yeah, other than that, I think it's a really great pattern. I love a good pair of like relaxed linen trousers for summer with an easy elastic pull on waist. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend something like that for summer. Next, let's talk about Peppermint Magazine because I think Peppermint has probably the highest quality free sewing patterns out there, um, as far as I can kind of tell. And I think the reason for that is that they actually partner with pattern makers to create their patterns. Um, so they'll partner with people like Common Stitch or In The Folds and then make a free pattern which they then um, promote through their magazine. And you just have to sign up for their newsletter to be able to download patterns. Um, but they're completely free and yeah, I've made a few of their patterns so far and I think that they're really great. Um, there's a lot of variety and they're adding new ones all the time. So if you're looking for free patterns, definitely a place to go if you haven't um, checked them out already. So a couple that I thought would be great for summer are the everyday dress, and I've made this one before. It's just like a very oversized, kind of short sleeve, simple um, v-neck dress with a waist tie. Um, I made it in linen, and I think I made a size probably too big, but in the end it actually was kind of a happy accident because it's just this really like oversized, flowy, relaxed dress that you can just kind of throw on and just be done with your outfit for the day. Um, so I do get a lot of wear out of that one in the summer. And then another pattern which I thought would be really cute for summer from Peppermint was the, let me just look here, the sky shorts. Um, so these are kind of like a um, longer kind of A-line fit short it looks like. They have a flat waistband in the front and then elastic in the back so they just pull on really easily. Um, and yeah, I think if you're looking for a free pair of shorts to make for summer, this is definitely the one that I would make. Um, and I actually am planning on making a pair of shorts this summer, um, and maybe like a um, oatmeal linen kind of thing. Um, so I'm thinking I might try this pattern. So if I do, I will let you know how it goes. Um, but definitely just check them out. They have a ton of free patterns on their site um, in their like kind of learning library. So um, have a look. They've got a lot. I think that would be completely suitable for summer and would suit a different range of styles. Okay, and then Mood Society, which is the last of my kind of top three places to go. Um, they just have like probably the largest library of free sewing patterns that I've ever seen. And I don't actually think that I've made anything from them yet. Um, I'm trying to remember. I don't think that I have, but I do think that if you are looking for a pattern or a free pattern, you'll probably be able to find it on their site um, or something at least similar because they just have so many to choose from. And they are also releasing new ones all the time. So one that I came across that I think was released more recently is called the Perth Dress. And this one's really cute. It's just got like a very simple bodice, kind of similar to what I'm wearing here, but just maybe a little bit more fitted with bust darts and then a gathered skirt. So it looks very like simple and yeah, just kind of like sleek from the front. But then in the back, um, it has this really cute cutout detail with um, a drawstring. 
And I just thought that that was such a fun detail, um, like something that kind of elevates the dress from just being, you know, your simple kind of sundress to something with a little bit more interest. And also, you know, helps with all the back sweat when it's hot out, so that's a plus. <laughs> and yeah, the one that they have on their website is made in a double cotton gauze, which would be a really nice, light, airy fabric for summer. Um, but I also, obviously, loving linen as much as I do, would love to see this dress in like a really bright, colorful linen. I think that would be really cute for summer. So those are kind of the patterns that I've been looking at from my top three sort of go-to places. Um, but wait, there's more. <laughs> because while I was doing all of my internet sleuthing, I did come across quite a few free patterns that I hadn't seen before that were from a whole assortment of places, including pattern brands to like DIY bloggers. Um, so let's take a look at some of those now. So I'll start with one which I've actually made before, which is the Athena top from Tasuti Fabrics. So this is more of like a tunic style top. It has kind of like a three quarter length sleeve on it. Um, the bodice is really like flowy, billowy. I think there's a couple lengths to choose from if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I've made this one a couple times. I think I've made two versions. One that was kind of like a wearable toile and then one that was based on that one. I had made some adjustments and then made the final version. And I think my only adjustment was to just size up once because I found the arms to be a little bit slim for my preferences. But yeah, I love this top. I think it's great for summer. I like that it has longer sleeves. So if you are someone who's looking for like a little bit more coverage, I think this is a great option. Um, I definitely think it's something you could use as like a beach cover-up as well if you made it in like a really lightweight cotton or linen. I think that would look really cute. And it's also a very simple pattern as well. So it's literally just the front, back, you attach the sleeves, um, and then you're pretty much good to go. So a very quick and easy sew that I would definitely recommend for beginners as well. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Um, actually, what I had done is I, as I came across these, free patterns. I was just kind of like taking notes of them in my phone and now I've kind of forgotten what I actually came across so I'm like opening these ones and being like oh yeah this one or like oh this is actually cute. Um, so it's like I'm rediscovering them with you um, but let's see what the next one is. Okay so this one is from DIY Daisy and this is the Maya Ruffle Dress and Top and okay yeah this one's really cute. <laughs> um, I totally forgot what this one was. Um, so this one is just like a long kind of maxi dress, I would say, um, but it's got these really like big, like voluminous sleeves um, that kind of like ruffle out because there's a lot of fabric there. Um, so yeah, I think that this would be a really cute one for summer. Basically in summer, um, I love just making like tons of pretty dresses, <laughs> even though I don't really get that much wear out of them. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think that this one would be very cute for summer. And also, I'm just looking at the pattern, it looks like it's quite zero waste or minimal waste um, in terms of the pattern as well. Um, so there's not actually a pattern that you print out, you just um, like take her measurements off of her post and then create the dress out of it. And it looks pretty simple. So yeah, if you're looking for kind of a maxi dress with a little bit of an interesting twist in terms of the sleeve, then definitely check this one out. Okay, so next are two patterns from a company called Grasser, which I actually hadn't heard of before I started kind of looking around for free patterns. Um, and they have like quite a few patterns for sale, but then they also have a couple of free ones, I guess if they just want you to be able to like test their patterns, get a feel for how they work and if you like them. Um, so they have this first one, which is a dress pattern number 217, and this one's really cute. It's just like a very typical kind of camisole sundress, it looks like. Um, it has maybe like a bit of an A-line flare to it, um, slits in the side. Um, yeah, I think that this is just a really cute kind of like summery mini dress. And it looks like one where you can also like customize the length to your preferences as well if you wanted to make it a little bit longer, like knee length or midi length even. Um, so yeah, something just like very simple, cute for summer. Um, and then they also have a sundress pattern number 619. So this one is like a very flared out, almost like a circle style dress, I wanna say, um, with straps that look like they have kind of a drawstring at the top. Yeah, it looks like you can kind of like cinch the straps that go around and they'll like cinch the front of the dress. Um, so that's kind of a cute detail. I like these kinds of silhouettes where there's like a lot of fabric, especially for summer when it's like so hot out and you need something that's got a bit of like airflow, if you know what I mean. 
yeah, super cute. I really like that one. Um, I might add that one onto my list. Next, I found two patterns from Seamwork, which I thought would be good patterns for summer as well. So the first one is called the Sorbetto Top, and it's like a little tank top. Um, actually very similar to this one in terms of like the style lines, but it does have some more interesting features on it, I would say. So it kind of has um, this like front sort of placket almost that goes down the center, and then it has some like sli side slits as well. And it looks like there's a little bit of a difference in between the length of the front to the back. And it also looks like they have a short sleeve version as well, so you don't have to make a tank top. So yeah, I think this looks like a very like simple and easy top with a little bit of interest um, in terms of the design that would work really well for summer. And yeah, I think you could choose um, different fabrics to kind of make this your own style. Um, I kind of envision this in something like a really like lightweight, almost sheer like silk maybe or something like that. Actually one of the photos that they have I'll put on screen kind of has a sheer fabric and I think that's really pretty and if you like layered it over top of the camisole um, or something like that I think that would look really nice. And then the second free top from Seamark that I found is the York top and this one um, has more of like a three-quarter length sleeve um, and it also has a gathered or not gathered, um, like a tie at the back of the neck. Yeah, this looks like a really versatile top to me. Um, it looks like something you could wear, depending on the fabric, you could like dress it up or down. Um, you could wear it with like shorts, a skirt, jeans, anything like that. So yeah, just a kind of easy, um, like really basic piece for summer. So the next free pattern that I found is from Pauline Alice Patterns. And it is, I think, the Balin top and dress. I might be pronouncing that wrong but it's a bias cut camisole or a slip dress. This isn't something that you'd ne necessarily have to make for summer. I think this could be like a great, like just top or dress for any time of year. Um, something you could definitely like dress up for more special occasions um, or something you could even just make in, you know, like a silk and wear as like an undershirt, maybe under that sheer sorbetto top that I was just talking about. So yeah, this one has bust starts on the front and then you just do a bias bound um, neckline and armholes and then as well as a bias strap. And yeah, it looks like it's very easy to make and you can make it in either a top or dress. So yeah, I thought that that one was worth including in here as well if you were looking for a kind of style like that. Ooh, okay, the next one is really good. This one is called the Hera Wrap Top and this is by Wardrobe by Me. Um, so this one I think is actually really pretty and like not quite basic. It's like a wrap top that comes down like this and then it's sort of cinched at the waist with an elastic and then ruffles out at the bottom. And it also has like a slightly ruffled um, short kind of cap sleeve as well. So yeah, this one is um, really pretty. I think it's quite like feminine. So if you're looking for something with more of a feminine or like romantic detail for summer, um, then definitely take a look at this one. And I think this would be really pretty in like um, they have some examples with like floral prints and stuff like that. Um, I think it would be super pretty as well and just like a really lightweight, um, like drapey, solid color. The next pattern I found is a t-shirt dress pattern and this is from a blog, I think, called So So Easy. Um, and I don't know if there's actually a pattern to download. Oh, okay, there actually is a pattern to download um, and then all of the instructions are in the blog post. This one goes from a size extra small up to a 3XL um, and this one's actually made in a jersey fabric so I thought that was kind of interesting. She's got like some videos of her wearing it on her site and it just looks really like fluid, drapey, it probably looks like the most comfortable thing you could ever wear for summer um, but it's just like a v-neck. Um, t-shirt so it has kind of a short sleeve and it's got a v-neck in the front and the back as well and then it's quite long so it looks like it's about ankle length and then it has some slits up the sides so that you can move a bit easier but yeah I think that this would just be something that's so easy to just throw on and again just be done with your outfit for the day um, and looks incredibly comfortable so that's definitely one that I put on my list to kind of consider for later. The next pattern is actually an accessory. So this is a bucket hat pattern from the Essentials Club. 
And I think she does um, videos on YouTube as well, if I'm not mistaken, I've watched some of her stuff. Her makes are super cute, and this is a free pattern that she offers on her blog. Now, bucket hats aren't for everyone, I will admit that, but I think that they're super cute. Um, I've made a couple of the, I think, Elb Textiles Sorrento bucket hat, and it's something that I just find so easy to throw on in the summer, and especially if you're going to the beach or, you know, spending the day out in the sun and you just want some coverage for your head and face and a little bit of shade, then a bucket hat is the perfect way to do that. And her free pattern looks like it's really good. Um, it looks like she's got it in a bunch of different like styles and fabrics, so you can really customize and tailor it to um, the look or style that you're going for. And she has both a pattern that you can print out as well as a printer-less pattern, so I'm assuming that you would just take the measurements and kind of draw it out. Um, if that's something that you're interested in. The next pattern that I found is from a blog called Fair and Simple, and this is a DIY simple shift dress pattern. Um, so this to me is just like a very classic, easy style that's going to work for so many different fabrics and different occasions depending on, you know, what fabric you choose and how you style it. So it looks like it's just like quite an easy fitting um, round neck, short sleeve kind of shift dress. In one of the photos she's wearing it with a waist tie, so that's a really cute way to kind of cinch it in and add some more detail. Um, because the lines of the dress are quite simple. Um, and then in another photo it also looks like she's wearing it as a top, so I'm assuming you can just kind of crop it and wear it as a short sleeve top as well. And it looks fairly easy and simple to make. Um, it does have like a sleeve band, which is similar to the um, Augustina boxy top, which I spoke about before. And then it's also just got bias binding for the finishing around the neckline. Um, so it looks like it's something that's really easy for beginners and um, would be a great starter project. Um, shift dresses are a great way to get into sewing and kind of start building some skills um, in kind of a low risk way because there's not a ton of like fitting or extra details that you need to add. So, so yeah, I thought that this one was really cute and definitely something when, you know, back when I was looking for free patterns and learning to sew, 100% um, would have made this for sure. Ooh, okay, I also found some swimwear tops um, from a brand called Edgewater Avenue. Um, they actually have four different styles to choose from, which are all free patterns for the tops, and they're super cute. Um, there's one that's kind of like, comes kind of down like this and then ties in the front. Um, they've got just your standard kind of triangle bikini top. They have um, more of like a tank style top. And then they've got this really cute kind of like gathered or ruched bandeau um, with like connections in the middle. So if swimwear is something that you're looking to make this summer, I know it's more of like an advanced project. Um, it's something that I haven't really dabbled with too much, um, but would definitely like to try more of. I think this would be a great way to try and get started and just, yeah, kind of try your hand at it without having to pay for expensive patterns that you're not sure are going to quite fit you or work well for you. So yeah, I thought that those were a great find and I was super excited to include them in this video. Okay, so we're down to our last couple of patterns here and the next one is from a blog called Contour Affair. And actually I was looking around on this blog when I came across it and I think she has quite a few kind of like DIY sewing patterns or things you can just make yourself. So it might be worthwhile just having a look at her blog and seeing what she's got on there. But I did come across this one pattern that she has instructions for, which is called the Boxy Minimal Sleeveless Crop Top. Uh, <laughs> boxy Minimal Sleeveless Crop Top with Geometrical Square Mini V-neck. Very long name, <laughs> um, but very also helpfully descriptive. So it's um, a crop top, it's kind of like boxy or like re rectangular shape, there's quite a bit of ease in it, and it has like a thick strap that comes down and then um, a really cute like V cutout detail in the front here. So yeah, I thought that that was really cute, something that I haven't really seen in sewing patterns before, something that I would definitely be interested in making myself, so I have filed this one away for later. Yeah, it looks like she's made hers in kind of a heavier weight linen, perfect check for me. <laughs> And yeah, she's got all of the measurements for the design on the site. It doesn't look like this one comes in multiple sizes, so um, yeah, that's kind of the case with a lot of these DIY ones. They won't be like fully graded out to multiple sizes. However, if you are more of an advanced sewer, then it's definitely something where you could take this pattern and kind of um, grade it out to your measurements and adjust it to fit you. So yeah, I thought that this top was very cute, very appropriate for summer, and, and it looks like something you could even hack into like a longer top if you're not into the crop 
top kind of situation or even a dress maybe. So lots of potential with this pattern. Um, definitely have a look if you're interested. Okay, one last pattern that I found, actually I came across this one this morning. I saw someone had made it on Instagram and just followed the link to this pattern. So this one is from The Little Pomegranate and it is called the Sabina Skirt. So this looks like it is a elastic waist kind of maxi skirt and then it has a really like cute ruffle detail across the bottom. So it's not just your like typical straight kind of circle or A-line kind of skirt. Um, it's nice and gathered so it's got a lot of fabric. It's very, I'm assuming, like swishy depending on the fabric that you choose for it. And this one does come in multiple sizes as well, so it goes from a size 6 up to a size 34. Yeah, I thought this was really cute if you're someone who's interested in skirts. Um, I'm sure that you could definitely play with the length on this one to take it from anywhere from like a mini style skirt to more of a knee length or kind of do what she's done, which is more of a maxi length skirt. I personally am not much of a skirt person. I've made one skirt in the past, the actually a free pattern, the um, wrap skirt from Peppermint, and I just don't really wear it that much. So for something like this, um, if you are a skirt person, go for it. I think this is a great pattern with a very cute, interesting ruffle detail. Um, for me, this might be something that I would possibly consider combining into a dress or doing like kind of a two-piece set and wearing it together almost like a dress. Um, but yeah, I thought that this was a very, again, cute pattern for summer. I probably said cute like a thousand times in this video. But yeah, it was just a new one for me, one that I hadn't come across before, so I thought it was definitely worth sharing. So that is it for this free summer pattern roundup. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you found some patterns that maybe you hadn't seen before or something that you're interested in making. Everything will be linked down in the description box below, so you can have a look there. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!